So, what is atomic mass? Let's take a look to that. The atomic mass of, um, of helium, helium uh, is equal to 4.003. Grams per mole. Uh, the atomic mass of Cooper is equals to 63.55 grams per mole. Now, what does these units over here mean? It means that if you have a mole, Avogadro's number, 6.023 times 10 to the power of 23 is equals to 4.003 grams. Let's try to answer a question using that concept. Um, let's calculate the mass. Let's calculate the mass of 0.5 moles of helium. So we start right here, 0.5, because that's all we know as right now. And we're going to multiply by something. What else do we know? Well, we know the atomic mass and the atomic mass is equal to 4.003 grams per mole. Now, the units mole cancel out and we get 2.002 grams because that's what we got left over there. Now, pretty easy. Let's try to answer another question. This time using Cooper. Um, um, the question is how many uh, Cooper atoms are in a um, 4.00 grams penny okay where can we start well all we know right now is that 4.00 grams so let's start over there and we're going to multiply by something right what else do we know uh, we know the atomic mass of uh, Cooper and is equals to uh, 63.55 grams per mole. You may be asking why is it now on the bottom and now on the top like we did on the last problem. The reason is because I'm trying to cancel out the grams and the only way to cancel grams out if is there on the opposite side just like um, a thousand over a thousand is equals to one. A grams over grams is equals to one. So the grams cancel out each other, and we can put a one over there, but we don't really need it. So we got that. Now, are we done? No, we're not done yet because we got more. And the question is asking. Um, atoms atoms how many Cooper atoms are in four grams of Cooper right so we gotta keep going we're gonna multiply by something because that's what we do in chemistry we just multiply multiply until we get to what we want to get we got most what else do we know? Well, we know Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number is equals to 6.023 times 10 to the power of 23. So let's use it. It's equals to 
6.023 times 10 to the 23. That's what atoms in one mole. So again, moles cancel out, and we got one, and then we got that. So now we use the calculator. Everything that is on the top, we multiply. And everything that's on the bottom, we divide. So what we're going to do over here is just multiply 4 times Avogadro's number, and then we're going to divide it by 63. 0.55 that's pretty easy to do and the answer is equals to um, actually I got it over there it's equals to 3.79 times 10 to the power of 22 and what is that? it's atoms because the grams cancel out the moles cancel out so we got atoms and that's our answer. Alright, I hope you understand it. Thank you so much. See you next.